10. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, come on, get up. There it is. Come on, get up. Whoa! Well, it looks like this guy's day is done, and who knows?
So I'm just putting in 100 turns to check the CG with the motor in it. So I'm gonna let it unwind and we'll have the braids fully uh, become taut. Let's see what happens. That's pretty good. Might need a few more braids in it, but that should keep the CG where it needs to be. Um, that's what the braiding does. It keeps the tension on the motor so that it's the same weight in the model. It's not heavier in the back. It's not heavier in the front. The braids keep it taut. So now I'm gonna just test glide it with this to see if the CG is where it was before. And it's pretty close, so let's see what happens. I'm going to put in 150. All right, this is just a first toss with it with 100 turns to see how it feels. And we'll see if it needs any thrust adjustments from this, but it might not tell me a whole lot. All right, that looked okay. Not much to go on, so I'm gonna go up to uh, 300 turns. Okay, 300 turns, no changes to the thrust. All right, I'm gonna back off the down thrust. I think that'll help lift the nose. I like that it's going to the right, that's fine. And we will make some slight adjustment to the uh, thrust plate. Okay, here's the thrust that I have in it right now. Might be a little bit of down and I have a little bit of right. I have this plate here that allows me to move it anywhere I want. There's a button on the front that allows that to pivot anywhere it wants. So what I'm gonna do is loosen this just a bit and drop this down some. little so that I went from I went from here to here and I'll tighten it up just a little I'm gonna try this one and see what happens so now there's a bit less down thrust so we'll see what the effect is All right, here we go, 400 turns. Less down thrust. All right, maybe even less down thrust than what I had there. Um, but I also could try putting a little bit of tail weight on it. Okay, this is a little piece of clay that I'm gonna to add to it. It's just a pea-sized piece of clay. And I'm gonna put that here on the tail. Just squeeze it on there, get it soft. We'll see what the effect of that is. I've got a few extra winds here on this, so I'm gonna to just toss it to see if it uh, holds the CG.
All right, here we go. We've got uh, 720 turns. Last one was 400, so this is a bit more power. I didn't change anything. We're going to see if it, uh, the tail weight is an issue. I'm going to try to launch very gently and uh, let it take itself out of my hand. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, that's pretty nice. Eight hundred and forty turns. I've put in less down thrust, and I kept the clay on the tail. The breeze is about two miles an hour, so let's see how it goes. Launch it straight ahead. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. I think it's in a happy place. I think I need to power up in a big way here, so I'm going to go with 1,200 turns. Looking for a smooth launch. Straight out, a little bit to the right of the wind maybe, but straight and level. Looking really good. Wow. All right. That's a pretty good trimmed model. It has a circle that's maybe a little tight, but pretty good. I could change the thrust on that to open it up a bit, but it, as long as it's climbing, it shouldn't be a problem for it to circle. I don't know, I think I'm going to uh, tweak the thrust just a tad so it's less right thrust. And I'm not going to mess with the rudder or anything. Let's just see what that thrust plate does by moving it just a bit. And I'll go maybe to 13 or 1400 turns this time. Keep going up the ladder, one or 200 turns is the best way to go. It came down with a few wines left in it, so that's not a bad thing. It got some height, but uh, you can imagine if this thing was flying at full power and it was up 100, 200 feet, and then the power ran out, that's when you're going to see the glide happening. And but you can see the, the rubber in there now. It's just laying on the bottom. Uh, that's what you want to see. You want to see something that's Actually, if it's suspended between the two pegs a bit, that's what you want. So maybe I would put in another, oh, 30 forward braids. And that would fix that issue. All right, here we go.
I'm putting in 230 turns. Just fold it in half and try to find the midpoint. Just keep doing this and it stretches and braids itself perfectly. Put a rubber band on the front. Put another one on the back. Put the wobble peg in there. And this little gem will prevent bunching in the rear by moving around on, on the rear peg. I'm going to wind it up just a little bit to show how different it is now. Now we're going to let it unwind. And you'll be able to see where it lands. It should be suspended between the rear peg and the prop hook. If it just slightly touches the bottom of the fuselage, that's okay. It's just barely touching. But you can see, you can see how it's it's going to stay there, same position. There's not more of it in the rear than there is in the front. It's going to stay there the whole time. And that's going to go a long way to keeping the model flying beautiful and consistently from power to glide. <laughs> there you go. I have 1400 turns and I've changed the thrust just a bit. I've given it less right thrust. It's pretty nice and calm right now, so here we go. Oh yeah, she looks happy. Wow. Might stall, but that little baby stall would probably just take a little bit of the clay off the tail, but we'll see what happens when it uh, if we can get to the glide portion with this flight. I do have the DT set, the thermalizer. The tree line is pretty far away actually. Now let's see what happens here. Coming back into the wind. Look pretty good. All right. Okay, the wind has picked up. It's more like five to six. So this could be the last flight, 2,000 turns. I've set the DT. And I did put a little bit of clay back on the tail that I removed, so. Uh, just felt like I wanted that nose to be up a little bit more, so. Here we go. Yeah. 
Yeah, this could be a problem. That wind has really picked up. You can see. It's already off of this uh, grassy area here. But the tree line's much further than it seems and the DT's on, so I'm hoping that it happens, comes down short. That's great. 